idolize Manhattan. I, I worship the ground it stood on. I, I put it on a pedestal. That is, I tried to put it on a pedestal, but I'd thrown my back out the week before trying to carry a tune, so that, uh, that didn't work out. Art isn't just in the galleries anymore. People are living their art. So if you deconstruct the whole idea of art... <gasps> what he wants to deconstruct is your cleavage, because that's the one thing... Well, two things, actually, that... <laughs> this'll only take a sec. <laughs> I know, I know, but I need the eggs. <sighs> the excitement, eh? Oh, so romantic. Uh, that's our tribute to New York. Uh, next week, as part of our Cities of the World Film Festival, we'll be uh, screening Is Paris Burning, uh, Death in Venice, uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and a funeral in Berlin. Oh, I've never been to Berlin. Come to think of it, we never go anywhere. Well, we could drive to Alton Towers. It's all enclosed in a giant dome, so rain can't ruin anything. Who wants to go to a fun park in Nottingham? You're just afraid of flying. We'll never get out beyond this soggy island. <sighs> We've turned into two of life's great spectators. Hmm? Oh, don't be silly. When was the last time we did anything spontaneous? Ah, 10.17, right on time. Bob, why don't we do it? Huh? Why don't we go to New York? <laughs> we can't just up and go to New York. We have responsibilities. I'm talking about a holiday. Someplace exciting. We already live in the most exciting city in the world. And all we do is watch films and documentaries about other places. I want to see New York. We could reschedule all our patients. <laughs> With our luck, we'd probably run into Cookie and Melvin. Cookie and Melvin live in Toronto, in Canada. That's a whole different country. Same hemisphere. God, do you remember the last time they were here? Surprise, surprise! Let's go visit that line of cousin of ours, I said. Just kidding you. You know I love to kid you. Where's that English sense of humor? Goodbye, I. <laughs> That's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> They're so vulgar. We can get Penny in to take care of William and Elizabeth. She really loves the dogs. We can go this week. <sighs> you talking to me? You talking to me? Because I don't see anyone else here you could be talking to. You must be talking to me. <laughs> Margaret! <sighs> Let's do it. Let's be spontaneous. Let's go to New York. Oh, Bob! It could be so romantic. Now, dry food twice a day, a teaspoon of canola oil for Elizabeth's coat, eye drops, ear drops and nose drops, uh, a sprig of witch hazel for William's breath, a dash of melatonin and an eighth cup of oat bran every second day. Uh. Oh, uh, and be sure to leave the radio on their favourite uh. station. Uh, and be sure... <laughs> 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 Margaret, you didn't press a little button down. Uh, uh, you didn't press a little button down. It's 6.30. Uh, 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 we're we're going to miss the plane. Uh, we, we'll be right down. Thank you. As I embrace my fear, like a butter pad on a cooker, it melts away. Now together. As I embrace my fear, like, like a, a butter, butter pad on, on a cooker, cooker it, melts it melts away. Off. Oh, Bob. Everything's going to be fine. The people flying this plane are trained professionals. I am like they do this every day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome I aboard Super Saver Airlines. I'm your captain, Lance Coggins, and your cabin crew is here to attend to your every need throughout the flight. Unless, of course, our head attendant gets a headache or her mother calls or she gets her period, in which case she'll be cranky, bloated, and annoying, won't you, Vicky? Infinite happiness. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet. If the pilot can get it up. <laughs> but don't get your heart set on it or you'll be bitterly disappointed. <gasps> Thank you for choosing Super Saver. I'm, I'm floating in a cloud-filled sea of serenity. It looks like we'll be running into a little turbulence shortly, so just in case, is there a doctor on board? 
Margaret, don't say anything. Lawsuits, they go crazy in America. Here are your special meals, Dr. Fish and Dr. Fish. <laughs> Just a dentist? Uh, only a chiropodist. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Please return to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. For the record, I'm not Vicky. Go! It's okay, Bob. We're almost in New York. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed that the New York area is closed to air traffic due to storm conditions, so we'll be landing in Toronto where we'll put you good people up for the night. Toronto? Cookie and Melvin? They're closing the last runway in two minutes, so we're going to be doing something just a little bit different right now. We're going to be plummeting straight to Earth and pulling up at the last possible instant. Oh, no. With the love of a good woman, I'm pretty sure I can do this. He needs me! Would all arriving passengers report directly to lost luggage? So it, it's a good news, bad news situation. Uh, we can't get you to New York for a couple of days. The good news is your luggage is already there. So if you just line up over there for the bus to your hotel. Would the owner of a 1992 Fiat Tempo please check the trend on the rear drive side trial? Do you like the bowl? Oh, what? The hotel is offering free bowling, 24 hours a day to all our passengers. Our little way of saying thanks for flying, Super Saver. All unattended baggage will be destroyed. Please do not leave unattended baggage. I paid cold, hard cash on the barrel head for this vacation. I make a bargain, I keep a bargain. That's just the way you I am. Tell him, baby. If that's a crime, just lock me up now, because that's just the way Melvin Fish is. <gasps> I'm sorry. My God. God, Melvin! Isn't huh? that... Is what? It's Bob and Margaret! I saw them! Hang on, Margaret. Ah! Oh. Oh. It is you! I said, Melvin, that's cousins Bob and Margaret! Didn't I say that? That's what she said. What are you doing sneaking into the country without calling us? <laughs> we didn't. We were on our way to New York. Yeah, they canceled our flight to Florida, too. Old damn airport's closed. God damn El Nino. I think that's over now. Bingo in the game's room. So, they putting you up at a hotel? Yes, I think so. You're not staying in any hotel. Nonsense! You're staying with us. Better than any hotel. No, really. Of course, we can't match the foreign movies you get at the hotel. Oh, unless you want to show those videos we took in our hotel room in Mexico. Hey, come on, I was drunk. Oh, sure, yeah, sure you were. <laughs> Can you believe they closed the airport just because of a little snow? <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is nothing. I've seen much worse. I'll be bringing in the army next. Babies. You said it, Melby, dear. And now, because of all those safety-conscious, do-gooder, manby-pamby babies, we can't get to Florida. And you two can't get the... Uh, uh, <laughs> we're going to New York. All right, New York. I don't know why anyone would want to go to New York instead of Toronto. I mean, we had cats here for years after it closed on Broadway. Well, it's still a very exciting city. Well, if you think getting mugged or knifed or worse is exciting, sure. They've actually cut down on the crime, but they are gun crazy. Everybody has a gun. Oh, yeah. It's like constitutionally mandated or something. They have to have them or it's the chair. Oh, oh. <laughs> Melvin. Oh. Don't you think we should slow down? <laughs> Isn't that? Oh, God bless. Thank you. Is that a cold coming on, Margaret? I don't think so. Well, that's good. Still, better here than down in New York, Ed. What do you mean? Oh, God, the medical care in the States. Don't get me started. The Canadian healthcare system, best in the world. Look out! Oh, <laughs> 
was wild. Okay. <laughs> you want to go again? <laughs> Man, that black ice can come out of nowhere. You okay, sweetie? Oh, I'm fine, I think. How about you? Are you okay? Yep. I remember to go limp. Well, there's a first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little saucy. I can't help it. I guess our brush with death has left me feeling kind of frisky. <laughs> well, maybe we should go into the back seat here. Oh, I almost forgot oh, about you, oops. kids. Please, call an ambulance. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Hang on. Emergency services. I need an ambulance. Okie dokie, whereabouts are you? 400 in uh, Pennington Side Road. Now, where is that in relation to the Tim Hortons again? The one with the benches out front? Yeah. Just past it. Mm -hmm.